Welcome, Dr. Stacy Klippenstein, president of Mojave Community College. How are you? I'm doing well, Larry. How are you? I'm good. You're in your new digs. You I like it. You like it, huh? Mm-hmm. We got room for a cameraman today. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you just came out with your annual, I guess, president's message. So let's talk about your president's message. What, what are you telling the students, the faculty, the parents of students mm-hmm. uh, for, for your four campuses? Yeah, well, I think as you read through the op-ed piece that we had out, and matter of fact, on Wednesday, or what is today, Thursday, right? Yeah, it's yesterday, Thursday, yeah. Um, I think it was in the uh, uh, Kingman paper as well, right. so if you have a chance to read it, our, our main goal is to talk about we continue to try to be innovative where we can and, and meet the needs of our, our, our local communities but via workforce uh, to our local high school kids with um, dual enrollment, and also just the amount of programs we're going to have and growth in, in certain areas. And uh, so I think hopefully if people walk away and take, you know what, they're, they're, they're still trying to do things for us as well as, you know, there is a good strong economic value of Mojave Community College based on our new economic impact study and, and both for the individual student as well as the community at large. And I think if people can walk away saying, you know what, we, we value MCC, there is a value back to us as well as, you know, there's a lot of interesting things going on to benefit our students. Right. You know, Casey Mulligan was here yesterday, the superintendent of, of uh Mojave Accelerated Learning Center, and he mentioned that he has a lot of his faculty that have returned that were students there, you know, that they went to MCC, they got their education, they went and got their teaching degree, and then they came back and started teaching, you know, at the high, at the high school they went to. And so that is something you offer. You, you don't have to leave the community. You know, you want to be a nurse, you can go right to MCC and be a nurse and, and go to work right here in one of these hospitals. Um, and now you're, you're doing carpentry. Yeah, yeah. We started uh, last year with the construction trades or carpentry program here down right. at, at Bullhead and, and looking to continue that. And we're also even looking at adding in for the construction trades uh, uh, plumbing and taking a look oh. at plumbing uh, certification as well as expanding where we're at with our electrical programs across our four campuses and, and HVAC as well. And those are specifically for the local businesses. Yes. Those are specifically to help them build their workforce. So come to us, take this class. It's not an AA, it's a certificate. But you can go to work tomorrow for a plumber. You can go to work tomorrow for an electrician, for a contractor. Um, And probably some of them will take you right now and say, you leave at 3 and you go to the college and come back, you know, or whatever. (laughs) Right. Um, right. Yeah, we we, we are doing a lot of that. You know, we even add in automotive, but then add in the healthcare system, like you said earlier, with nursing them. You know, we're just added in and expanding out with our uh, sonography and and mammography through our rad tech programs. Uh, We're looking at starting uh, respiratory therapy. Um, We have a person on board. We're working with the national accreditation. Uh, We'll be bringing some information to our board on respiratory therapy, um, which has been a a, a dire need and and requested by our health partners. And so we're, we're trying to find what those niche points will be and uh, the needs of our community and trying to create what we can create. And uh, and to help the local, right? Sure. The local folks and the regional folks too. I mean, you got Laughlin, you got right. Needles, and we want to make sure we hit all those areas as a service area. And and you're on the chamber board in Kingman. You'll be Correct. you'll be at the mixer tonight, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Um, but that gives you also the opportunity to to visit with the business people, especially in Kingman. What are your needs? You know, how can the college help? Get your workforce ready to come knock on your door with a with a certificate, yeah, and and be ready to go to work. That was a beautiful part of the work that we've done on our academic master program. Program was, um, Bo. I'll, I'll give shout out to Bo um, down here with the chamber, as well as um, Becky. Uh, Becky Fossen up in Kingman, and then Lisa at the time down on Lake Havasu, and even right. people up at Uzona, the chamber up at, at uh, Colorado City and, and Hildale. They all work with us in our. Um, our Dean of Workforce and Regional Partnership Development, Dr. Kirk Lacey, and um, with looking at data behind the scenes, but also then them helping us out with focus groups and bringing in people. Yeah. I tell you what, that work that we did just over a year ago in creation of an academic master plan is based on really true data, number one, but also that, that anecdotal and um, uh, um, other data that we received from these local business folks. And so... Um, yeah, and they continue to support us. I mean, I love our chambers. Right. They continue to support us, and we love it. Well, and, and they they can be the vocal point for you as to what they hear from their business community, too. 
you know, and Becky, you know, Becky can text you, Bo can text you and say, hey, today I was talking to Barron's and Barron's is telling me that he needs people trained to be able to do this. And is that something you can look at? Yeah. And yeah. We don't like to work with Matt. So, <laughs> so sorry. Sorry, Matt out there. And Baron. No, we do love to work with Matt and Baron and the crew. I just, um, I just threw that out there. You know. <laughs> but, you know, you know, and Alana here on your campus te- is teaching kids how to go be chefs. And, and Perkins and everybody, ProFit and all these restaurants, they need these people. And so what better place for them to go right down the street? Because I think you can take it at uh, Mojave High Culinary, and then you your classes are at the college. Yeah. And how cool is that for a student to say, well, I'll be going to the college this afternoon and take my culinary class. Mm-hmm. And then when he graduates, he just keeps on getting it until he gets his certificates in, you know, chefism or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chef yeah. 101. Well, yeah, yeah. No, that, that is so true. And that's what we found out from the economic impact study is is it's coming to us as a value. So every, for every $1 a student, you know, says we got to spend on my education, it's a $6.10 return. Okay. Um, so it's a 610% return on that investment that they put in because they're getting those high demand, right, higher wage type job right. opportunities in only a one year certificate. Um, and, the, and, and the other thing too is, I think it, it states that out of one, we impact one out of every 29 jobs in Mojave County I'm by sure. some sort of training. So right. what a great value for your community college, right, to be serving um, that that uh, that population. Well, and it, you know, it boils down to your, you know, you want to meet the needs of the business community. I mean, Dot Foods, you guys are training their drivers. What better can they ask for? And if the driver or the new driver works it right, Arizona at Works will pay for the class. Exactly. He, yep. does, he doesn't even have to go up there and pay for the class. Arizona at Work will pay for that. MCC gives you a certificate that you completed the course. And then you're ready to go to work for Dot Food to make over 100 grand a year. Yeah, their drivers yeah. are now making over 100 a year. Right, right. I tell you that Arizona at work and and what they have done with uh, Mike and Joe and Sarah, they have been fabulous in working with us with taking those funds that they have available, right. partnering with us. And uh, almost all of our even non-credit training programs, our short-term training programs, sure, all meet and fit within that. And uh, I tell you that the uh, the output has been. Fabulous with them. Well, and we talked about the carpentry program here at, at, at the Bullhead Campus. You want to go be a carpenter, you need tools. And Arizona at Work will help them do that. You've got a job to go to, and the guy's saying you need this weight of hammer, and you need this bag on your, on your hips, and you need this. They'll, they'll buy that for you to get you to start working. Mm-hmm. It's so simplistic, but it's like all these people working together with a chamber and the college and Arizona at Work just to help you get the job. Just to help our public go to work. Right, right. And that will continue because we have great people in all those roles. Right. And uh, we see the, the benefit of collaborating and and uh, partnering. And uh, now industry is working with us even more closely. You know, hopefully we'll get to the point of more apprenticeship-style programs. So not only are they getting that on-site, on-the-job training and those hours put in for that apprenticeship, but at the same time it's dovetailing or, or mirroring our um, educational courses, so it's all matching up together. Right. They walk out with a certificate. They have their apprenticeship hours done. Um, what a beautiful thing to do. And there's a good chance that they might come back and take another class. <laughs> you know? We'll take it. They might come back and say, well, you know, I could use an English class, and I could talk better with people on the job. And, you know, maybe if I went and did a yeah. math class, I could, you know, do this. The next thing you know, you get full-time students. Mm-hmm. You know, So yep. yeah. it, it works out. All right, let's take a break. Our poor cameraman needs to sit down for a minute, relax. It's a heartache. Legacy Rehab and Care Center. Would you like to enter the world of health care? Legacy Rehab and Care Center will hire you and train you and help you get your certificate as a certified nursing assistant from Dr. Stacy Klippenstein. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you get those certificates, right? Yeah. You bet. Yep. And and you don't have to go to this college. Just stop by and pick up your certificate. That's all. Yeah. Legacy Rehab does post-acute rehabilitation, physical therapist, occupational therapist, and speech therapist. Plus, it's a skilled nursing facility. If you know someone who needs those services or somebody who wants to enter the world of health care, call 928-763-1404 or stop by 2812 Silver Creek Road in Bullhead City. 
And that's another partnership. How many partnerships do you have? (laughs) We could be here all day walking through just because so many people love to try to partner with us on various different things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. And but but they do all the training and they do it all and they put the person to work and everything and they they qualify for a certificate from MCC. Um, Besides working with all these partnerships and all these chambers, do you find yourself knocking on Sonny Brelli's door and Leo's door and you know, you, you find yourself working with our legislators on issues that benefit and help community colleges? Yeah, it is the season, right? Uh, right ah. now. Um, yeah, the legislative session and um, has begun and uh, the part of the op-ed piece that I, I put out um, as well as the work that I'm doing with the other Arizona community colleges uh, continues to focus on certain legislative priorities we usually have every year and so yeah, trying to get the opportunity to knock on Leo's door, which I did. I was down there a couple of weeks ago to say yeah. hi and visit with our priorities and uh, sending notes to Representative uh, uh, Gillette as well as Senator Borelli right. um, to tr- try to keep them abreast of things uh, that might impact us both in a positive or potentially a negative way right. uh, to keep them informed. But we do have some priorities coming into this upcoming year that we hope that they would be able to look at. And the big one is, is, is I, I know that if you had them on the air, they would probably say, you know, there is some budget issues, right, for the state. <laughs> you think? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. You got, so, Hilda, you got Hildy in here next week. We're going to talk to her about yeah, some of that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, and I had a good talk with uh, Representative Biasucci, which is a great, great supporter of right. Mojave Community College. And and um, so we did talk a little bit about that. We know we're a couple years away of maybe some uh, some funding opportunities, but just to protect the current funding levels we have um, that greatly benefit us. Right. And, uh Great dialogue on that, fully supports uh, that that angle as well. So that's always one priority is to keep that, hopefully, funding whole. If we sure. Can. Um, but we are also looking at uh, the potential of helping. The state of Arizona and the state of Nevada are the only two states that do not offer state dollars to help fund small business development um, centers or SBDCs. Oh. We do through a grant. We match, right? Um, what we're looking for is to see if the state would – would throw in money that would match what the community colleges put in, that then we can expand SBDCs. Right. So, and, and that's we think that we can greatly, greatly enhance uh, small business development, the continuation of that. And that's with all the community colleges through Arizona. Yes. Right. 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 So it's not just it's not just you know our local area here. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the idea. I mean, for us, it would be a, a minimal amount. Um, our match is uh, around seventy ish thousand dollars. But if we had another right. match, you know, if that's another person that can help us yep. expand out and, and meet with people uh, to help develop a business plan or help find funding sources, um, we think we can really greatly help. And we do a great job already with SBDC, but sure. we can expand more. So it's those type of kind of priorities we want to throw out in front that aren't heavy ticket um, price tag items yeah. uh, for the next couple of years, but at least putting it out in front of them. And Leo's thinking that's a good idea. Uh, Leo always thinks my ideas are good. <laughs> I should, <laughs> I should wear my boots with my, ten, my, my, my shorts no, today. No. Uh, yeah, no, we had a great dialogue about good. it. I mean, he, he didn't know that actually Arizona um, and Nevada were the only two that did not offer state dollars to help match. And, he, and if I know him, he doesn't want to be one of those two. He wants to be out of that number. So, yeah, yeah he, might, he might find some of that money. Yeah. Um, how's our soccer team coming? Uh, coming along very, very well. I know through social media, if you follow that, uh, if you don't, uh, check out our Facebook as well as LinkedIn and other inst- – well, we don't do Instagram right now. Um, what's the other one? Yeah, we do. Instagram. Yeah, yeah, Instagram, sorry. Twitter. Uh, Twitter, right. Um, anyways, so we always try to throw out there when we, we sign individuals and information about those individuals. And our men's soccer coach, uh, Camilo uh, Valencia, has been doing an incredible job. Um, with recruitment, we've had some more signees uh, recently. We're getting Good. close, closer to having that that full set team. Um, women's soccer, we're we're hiring a women's soccer coach, but we have already had early signees that are staying with us. Good. Uh, and right now, we're we're over a dozen uh, local local talent that's uh, signed to stay and play with us, and wow. we're really really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I think I can't remember the first match. It's right around August 18th or so. Uh, we'll be ready to start up soccer. Wow, Who, that's a, that's just so exciting. Six months away, and right here in Bullhead City on the 
on the uh, field down there, right, in Rotary Park. Rotary Park. The amount of work that the city has done, you know, Toby and all of them right. were great partners. Speaking of partnerships, right? Yep. Um, our booster club, you know, locally, Matt. I'll go. Okay, Matt from Barron. I'll give him. <laughs> I'll, I'll shout out to him on that. But, now he likes him. <laughs> yeah. Now I like him, uh, Matt, and uh, you know, Medi, and, Medi and, and, and then yeah. Steve Moss, and, and that whole crew has just stepped up over the last two years to fully support where we're at. And we got a shout out to Gary Reynolds because he yes. helps put these tournaments together. And, you know, in Kingman and in Bullhead. In fact, uh, we were looking at our Kiwanis tournament, and we wanted to do it June 3rd. He goes, nope, can't do that. You know, we got one We got one in Kingman on, on June 3rd, so you got to move down the month a little bit. And we're like, wow, Kingman on June 3rd, the temperature is going to be perfect for a golf tournament. Yep. Yeah, Gary does a fabulous job. We greatly support him. The other one, too, is i got to give a shout-out to the Legacy um, Foundation right. as well. I mean, they... They have offered us 300000 to help get this thing started. So the legacy, wow. you know, step up there. Um, great partnerships to get this thing going. And I can I can just see a packed house at that first match and yeah. uh, a lot of uh, pomps and circumstances, right? I mean, having a, having a lot of fun that day. You have to put bleachers on the other side. We, we might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put that in your budget for next year. <laughs> yeah. I can just see that bleacher request. <laughs> and the board goes, what? <laughs> but you, you, you might need that. You yeah. never know, right? Yeah. But they've done a great job down at the Rotary Park, that field and yeah. uh, the dugouts that they kind of put in and right. uh, the new gra- – it's fabulous. I can't um, say thank you enough for everybody. Well, and this is just an exciting time to think that MCC is going to have their soccer team competing with other colleges in our state, and we could win. That's right. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. We could, we could come back and be the number one, number two team, I, you know. I it's cannot, a Super Bowl of yeah. – uh, of uh, soccer in Arizona. Cannot wait to beat Arizona Western. That's all I got (laughs) to say. Shout out to President Core. Um, Yep. All your buddies. (laughs) Yeah. I can already hear you saying, okay, well, if you win, you got to do this. And if I win, I got to do this. Perfect. How do people get in touch with you, sir? Get in touch with me? Yeah. Oh, you know, uh, you can always send an email to me uh, at S. Klippenstein. That's S-K-L-I-P-P-E-N-S-T-E-I-N at Mojave.edu or president at Mojave.edu. Both of those get to me. All right. Uh, please shoot me a note. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time.